What is up everyone? Welcome back to the channel, guys and girls alike. For this video, I'm gonna show you how to change your spark plugs in your coil packs. If you are getting P0300, P0302 misfire code, this is usually your issue. All parts, I will provide links in the bottom of the description. It's all stuff that I use personally on my cars. A lot of it I buy on Amazon, but I always make sure to test out the stuff before I recommend it to you. It'll save you a lot of time and research. Let's start the video. The first thing that we're gonna do is we're gonna take a 10 millimeter and disconnect the negative on the battery terminal. We only have one eight millimeter, but there's supposed to be one, two, three, four to remove this cowling. Pop these tabs right here. There we go. Put this bad boy over here. Now go ahead and remove the eight millimeter screw on each side holding the cowling in. Now gently push out the rubber tabs on both sides. A lift with your finger to pop the tabs to remove the covers. Turn the sensor slowly and remove it from its housing. With a pick tool, release the clips holding the wire harness. Carefully lift the tabs on top of the coil packs to release them. A cool trick I use, the pick tool through the coil pack, support it on both sides, pull straight up, pull it out. You can also use a flat blade screwdriver. Just be very careful not to pull on or damage the wiring. You can wiggle the electrical connector off of each of the coil packs or you can use a small flat blade screwdriver to separate it. Now go ahead and remove all the coil packs. I like to line them up next to each of the cylinders they came out of just in case I did have a misfire I know exactly which cylinder it was. Take a 5 8 spark plug socket with extra long extension and get ready to break loose the spark plugs. Carefully support the ratchet when you're breaking loose the, the plugs. It's in there pretty tight. You don't want to strip it out. Notice all the buildup on the spark plug. Uh, these are definitely bad. I noticed after pulling my plugs that the ones that I took out of the car were actually fakes. You can tell by the electrode at the end, it is not a iridium plug. Fake iridiums cause misfires in the car and the piece can get sucked into the cylinder and ruin your engine. I will provide links to the real ones that I bought off Amazon uh, in the bottom of the description. Real iridium plugs have a small iridium filament at the end of the plug. Also the real ones, notice the lettering on the base right there. Um, that'll actually show you that it's real as well. It's time to gap the plugs. Our factory spec is 0 .044, so I'm just going to figure out what the gap is on it and kind of move the electrode around until it matches that 0.044 mark. After I've successfully gapped all the plugs, it is time to reinstall them. A little oil on the, the threads of the spark plug. This is our short one here. We got to go around this way here. Don't ever force a spark plug in. Just kind of let it catch on its own grooves here and work its way in. Let's get our ratchet on here. Like I said, we want to be really careful. So we're going to put our hand here 
and we're gonna just turn it till she starts to give us a little bit of trouble and then we're just gonna torque it just a little bit. Right about there. I torque these all by hand, but you can go with the factory torque spec, which is 30 Newton meters or 22 foot pounds. All right, so what I'm gonna show you guys, these Bosch coils, you can tell there's numbers in here and you can usually match those numbers to see if they're legit. The other thing is if you see this, there's a tab right underneath here, see the middle piece? That is gonna allow you to plug those in on this car. The other one, the tab is to the left. So make sure you get the right coil packs or you will not fit. So to get this coil in here, all we're gonna do is drop it in, wiggle it just a little bit, and now we're gonna take this piece, we're gonna push it over, pop it and make sure it snaps and then we're gonna press it in boom and now she's in we're gonna do the same with this coil work it till it hits on our spark plug we're gonna lift up our piece we're gonna push it over here line it up pop it so it locked and push it in there we go here we go coils and plugs are in <sighs> All right, now that we got the coils in, the spark plugs, everything's in there nicely. Reconnect our negative on our battery. Before we put all the stuff back on the engine, we wanna make sure that it's running with no misfires. Power back on here. Check our codes. We still got the EVAP leak, cylinder three misfire, cylinder two misfire, we wanna clear these. It might be permanent, we might have to get them with the software. These have to be cleared with the, with the software or running the car. Go ahead and start the car. As you guys can tell, even though it says there's a misfire, the way the motor's running, there is no misfire. This thing is running 100% normal. That's what the motor should be sounding like. See, our idle is normal. We got no check engine light. Here's the motor. Smooth acceleration all the way through. Our tag gauge is not moving, which is really good. Solid motor. That is it for today's video. I hope you guys learned something. Make sure to watch next week's video, which will be part three in our video series. I'm gonna show you how to change your oil filter gasket. This is something that definitely has to be done to keep up the maintenance on your three series.